Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Crimson Raven, and welcome back for another episode of Darkest Dungeon. We're in the Raven's Nest Estate today, the main playthrough. With the DLC activated, although impossible to do for us right now, news from the roster, Rockin' Ryan is currently drinking his woes away. I believe he is drinking. Yes, he is. Uh, cause, yeah, no, his stress was through the roof. And, uh, our other people went and had a few... A few, uh, shenanigans when it comes to stress relief. Uh, Devil Triple Z now has an unquiet mind. Snugs is now filled with hope. But Snugs is not coming, out, coming with us despite that, uh... Actually, no, she should probably come with us, which means I would have to change my team comp. Yeah, we're going to do we're going to do some last minute changes here. Cuz I wanted an abomination to be part of this one. But I think it's not going to be the case. We're not going to take the abomination. And we're not going to take the occultist. All right. So I guess, I guess we'll just run it down in this case. I want to have Johnny Old Boy taking point at the very front because I think, uh, yeah, I think he would be a pretty good choice here. Virtue chance, death blow resist. And I'll have some extra HP for him, because he's quite slow. Right behind him is Eerie Seeker, our champion antiquarian. Whom I have outfitted... Uh, actually, she's going to go in third. I have outfitted her with the Candle of Life, which gives her extra healing and extra HP. As well as the Carapace Idol, which gives her extra protections. All in all, she should be fairly well protected. I'm going to do that. And that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm going to bring. In rank 2, we're going to have obscene snugs in an attack vestal configuration here with the profane scroll. And, um, Book of Sanity? Or the Camouflage Cloak for the extra dodge, I think, is going to be good here. Actually, maybe, maybe even the Sun Cloak. New, no, because I've given... Yeah. I'd rather have her with the Sun Cloak, so I'm going to trade these. There we go. And finally, at the back, we have Logic, the man-at-arms. I've been saying for a little while that I wanted to experiment with uh, a man-at-arms at the back. So let us uh, switch the skills right near, right and quick. Um, and if we do get... If we do get shuffled around, I will want uh, to use Retribution... Probably a fair bit. Just to mark myself, force the enemies to attack me rather... To attack logic rather than any other. Uh, you. Also going into an attack vestal configuration. So that, that, and that. There we go. Today we're going to the ruins. And uh, the reason why I'm taking this particular quest, this particular medium quest, is because of the Coven Signet. We're not, we don't have the roster to go to the courtyard yet. But I, I have to expect that we will at some point. Which means that we will have people who will catch the Crimson Curse. So that ring is going to be very strong for that. And it, it, the quest is also going to give me a bunch of deeds that I'll probably change into crests. Uh, just to be able to keep upgrading my sanitarium. 
and uh, a decent amount of money. Money is really what we're after here because we have a lot of people here. Uh, most of our weapons and armor are upgraded with the exception of Estelis. But we have a lot of people whose skills are not fully upgraded. They're still at level 4. Uh, that includes Eerie Seeker, but you know, as an antiquarian, it's less significant. Um, but for everyone else, I'm taking fully upgraded characters here. Also gonna try. Uh, I'm also gonna take the inspiring cry just for the stress relief and the torch. Provisions. Okay, this is a money run, so we want to keep that. We want to keep that to a minimum. I'll we'll take twelve food, eight torches, because we have two people who can rekindle the torch up front. The inspiring cry and the illumination should allow us to keep the torch up. Couple keys. Couple shovels. Twelve food. Uh, maybe... I'm starting to think maybe we should take a fasting seal. I think logic is going to carry the fasting seal. So that way we still have... I'm still only going to bring 12 food, but we have 4 meals instead of 3. And, uh... Do I take a third key? No. I'm going to take a couple laudanum as well. Because we, there are a fair few enemies in the ruins that can cause, that can cause horror at this level. So, uh, I'm going to make sure to bring some laudanum with me for emergency cases. Let's go. Assemble your party and supplies accordingly. The thing is, though, the metagame radically changed. <laughs> and what better place okay, what do we have? Than the seat of got 100% of room battles, and we got to go that way first. I also realize that we have a bruiser of a comp, but we have absolutely no one who's even remotely adept at taking out traps. Eerie might be the closest one of them. Got a fight to start with. Tempting goblet. Also, we have a pretty slow team. Uh... So I'm kind of counting on logic to to give us a boost on speed, but we're already getting pummeled here. Holy crap. Okay. Heal her up for three points. And uh, read them the rights for ten and seven. There we go. And smack that one. Kill it. As the fiend falls. Faint hope blossoms. And uh, I'm going to go dodge and speed for everyone so that next turn we might have a chance. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Gotta love those new lines by Mr. Narrator. Okie dokie, what do we have here? I think I'm going to go for illumination on one of them. Or the hand of light. I could just bash him in the face. If I bash him in the face, I got a pretty good chance of killing him. But, Johnny old boy cannot reach the back. At all. He could stress relieve me though, so I'm still going to bash him in the face. 28 and a crit! Holy crap! I'm seeing snugs. Just going ham here. Heal her again. Eri has extra healing on that, yes. And, uh, 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 dodge and speed again. Inspiration and improvement. Tempting Goblet on our buffer. Confusion. Nerves. Smite him. There we go. Illumination misses. Brings the torch back up, though. Let's uh, do a bit of stress relief. There we go. And logic can protect the healer. 
Like that. Tempting goblet. Misses this time. That's quite good. And uh, do I heal again? No, I'm gonna blight you. And miss. Blight you again. <laughs> Got it this time. Accuracy and crit. The blood quickens. There we go. Bit of stress relief, a bit of healing. Illumination this time. Big debuff here. Tempting goblet. Hits the second the secondary tank. I'm okay with that. And now the corpse has moved. Heal you for three. Uh, do I still defend? Dodge and speed again. Knife in the dark. Hits for four points of damage. Minor damage. Uh, do I heal all around or just bash him in the face? I feel like bashing him in the face is, is the more tempting route here. Although, Johnny still hasn't gone. Johnny's gonna get to go before him. So, no. Round of healing. There we go. And then Johnny can finish. There. Very nice. And we got a bunch of stuff from that. Okay, first fight, not that bad. Crate is empty. Moving on to the first room. The first empty room. And then we're gonna move down. We got a, a fight before a treasure room. We don't have a lot of scouting in this party too. I had not thought of that. Webbing. Hits this time. For the stun and the mark and the whole malarkey. Holy shit, that's bad. Fighting for three and some blight. Nothing to concern. Crit heal for ten. Read it. I didn't know spiders could read, but they sure can. Dodge and speed. And I'm gonna go illumination. Kindle the torch while finishing up the no final spider. Got another medicinal herb here. Light resist down just for a round. I did not want to grab that with her. God damn it. Sometimes the hotkeys don't register. Don't just don't, they just don't register and it's annoying as all hell. Okay, what do we do here? This guy's probably gonna start guarding people soon. So, I'm gonna bash this one in the face. Tempting Goblet. Hits for seven. And a lot of stress. Weakened. Weakened, indeed. Dodge for everyone. Tempting Goblet. Hits again. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to start doing some stress relief. Read it. Is broken. Maintain there we the go. Accuracy crit for everyone. Axe blade. Misses. Tempting goblet. Hits again. So what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna do some some healing and stress relief, I think. Or just bash this guy. 12 points of damage. Blight him for 2 points of damage. And no blight this time. Dodge and speed for everyone. Tempting Goblet. Hits. Oh, that's very... That, yeah, that's starting to be a, a bit high. For... Uh, that's Yeah, that's starting to be a bit high on the stress department. Dash him! 10 points of damage, nicely done, obscene snugs. Illumination on you, 9 points of damage. Accuracy and crit for everyone again. Stress relief on our secondary tank. And a blight you for 2 points. 
And he resisted. Tempting Goblet. Hits. I am not too good at reaching the back ranks with what I have right now. Dodge and speed. Light you for three. And an extra three. Tempting Goblet for four. Tempting Goblet again. Seven points of damage. That is that is a lot of spilled wine. Alright, let's do some... Johnny Old Boy's on stress relief duty now. Illumination on you at the back. Accuracy crit. Light you for two points. And you die. Uh, let's do a bit more stress relief on you. For two points. Tempting Goblet. That's gonna hit. And I have to start doing it on yourself, too. Debuffing. Illumination on you, because you're dead on your turn. There we go. Weapon that cuts on its own. That is quite nice. I'm expecting Knife in the Dark, so I'm gonna protect him. Full round of healing. Light him for two points of damage and the Blight. He's not dead yet. Knife in the dark. I'm not gonna hit this time. Stress relief on you at the back. And he's dead. Okay. That went alright. And we got an extra vial of blood. That I did not know, but I have to keep it. <laughs> I really have to keep it. Because uh, if somebody catches the Crimson Curse... Whatever blood I bring back, I can I can then buy as provisions. Or something like that. Anyways, alright. Uh, let's open the box. Unlock strong box. What is in there? Crests. With loot. Lots of crests. Often low on I needed lots of crests. I still need lots of crests. I like that. Stress is a bit high for my taste, though. Okay, got our first hunger tile here. Still have a long way to go. And moving on north. Got a box. Glittering more heirlooms. Gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Go. Still at seven torches. Doing fine. We are doing fine. Moving on. We have another extra, uh, another empty room. Another hunger tile. Okay. Not sure I like that at all. 60, 70, 60. Snugs is actually the most qualified to take care of the trap here. And fails. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. Okay, we got some scouting. Come on, give me, give me the secret. Give me the secret room. No secret room, just another trap. She got it this time at least. Torch it up a little bit. Our torch is going way down very, very quick. Torch it up again. We're down to five torches. The problem with counting on skills to replenish my torch is I have to be fighting. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Got a journal page here. I've already read that one like a thousand times.
Another torch. I'm going to burn that right away. Moving on. And uh, you know what? I'm thinking about camping here. Yep. I go for the fight, but no. You know what? I'm going to camp right here. I think it's a good place. Gathered close in I cannot feast because I don't have enough food. Easy companionship. But... It's night time ambush. I don't have anything else that prevents nighttime ambush. You. That's actually better because it removes stress from him. Sanctuary. Self only if religious prevent yeah, no. She's not faithless. So she's not faithless. We're good. All companions. Mortality. Yeah. Nobody's got mortality debuffs yet, so Zealous Vigil is the better option here. And uh, we're going to do some encouragement. You're also going to have... All companions extra damage. Yes, that is what I was looking for. And encourage you. And that's as good as we can get right now. Feel strong and powerful. Let us carry on. Blessed we are that no fear has overtaken us. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. You're absolutely right, Mr. Narrator. I believe we are strong enough, though. I do have some holy water. Ooh, that's a lot of riches. That is a lot of riches. Bandages can fuck off. Uh, that is worth the most. I do need the portraits. But I don't need them as much as I need the crests. Because my first objective is really the sanitarium here. So... I don't think... No, I don't think neither the jade nor the citrine are actually worth dropping portraits right now. Okay, got a bunch of maggots to deal with here. Smack that one. Very nice. Light that one. Because why not? Grave Nibble. That hits for a bit of stress. Our stress levels are back down to something manageable at least. Nibble again. Four points of damage. Decimated. I'm starting to think more and more than bringing an antiquarian with a, a backline man at arms uh, is not. Yeah, that's not a good combination at all. That was a mistake. Because the backline man at arms, since he has nothing that can possibly do damage from the back. He's just a pure buffer, a pure support character. The rest of the party has to have a lot of damage going for them. So... Something ridiculous, like the fucking Dance of Death with logic at the back... Would be ideal, because I can get dodge and speed... On everyone, all the time. And then protect whoever's weak whenever needed. Obliterated. But with an antiquarian whose uh, fighting victory. capabilities are already quite what limited, that was that was not a good idea. Okay, that's a that's a that's a bit of a nasty fight. I do not like that fight at all. Let's uh, hand of light on this guy. Let's reduce his damage. And let's reduce his accuracy as well. I should have done it on the other guy. Like a fire. Misses everyone. That's amazing. 
That is amazing. Wail at this guy, because the other guy's got his damage reduced. Slice and dice. Holy shit, good thing he was debuffed, huh? Slice and dice. Seven and eight. Gotta go dodging speed for everyone. Zealous Accusation's probably gonna kill this guy here. I need heal. I need to heal. Or I need, I need, I need... Oh man, what do we do? Bash him. Bash him. Masterfully nice. I probably should have healed. Dodge and speed for everyone again. Read it. Or not. I missed it. Ow. Shanking. 16 points of damage. And the mark. And the bleed. Ow! Seriously, ow! Dodge for everyone! Heal for everyone, because holy shit do I need it right now. Now, don't miss! Thank you! And I'm gonna protect him, because he's marked. Like a fire! Nice heals. Very nice heals. Let's heal him again for another five points. And that should negate. And go accuracy and crit, because I do not want that fucker dodging on me, and then kill him. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. I want the rubies. I really want the rubies. I'm dropping the portraits for the rubies. Drinking the holy water for the cash. In the chest. A whole lot more money. A whole lot more money. I need I need the money. I really need money. Laudanum. Do I drop the laudanum? Yes. I'm dropping the laudanum. That's just for one round. I think that's fine. Moving on. As the light gains fight purchase, coming up. Spirits are so Logic is going to be protecting Johnny as, as quickly as possible. Tempting Goblet. I'm pretty damn sure that I don't want any stress attackers going for me right now. Clarified in a or people who strike. just crit like motherfuckers. Ow! Surgical precision. They're really focusing down Snugs right now. They are not liking her. Dodge and speed, everyone. We need to gain an advantage here. Dodge again for everyone. 18 dodge, I'm hoping, will do the trick. Start attacking. 18 points of damage. More dodge and speed for everyone. I, got, I gotta go... Defensive on... A little bit more defensive, at least, on this one. Still bleeding for 6 damage per turn. How much HP do I still have? 13. I can, I can last for another turn, at least. Kill him. No. You know, just take him out. Take him out the picture. Uh, heal the healer. There we go. Tempting Goblet. Five points of damage and a lot of stress. Just wail at this guy. 14 points. Run for the old gods. Seven damage and no bleeding this time. Heal everyone soothed and sedated. Sedated. Soothed. Sedated. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Healer again. 
15 points of damage. More dodge, more speed. And for the old gods, misses this time. Finally! Tempting Goblet. Misses, misses as well. That is what I was aiming for. That is what I was aiming for. Heal through the goddamn bleeding. Come on. The limbs obey. That's a lot of dodge. That is a lot of dodge. Kill him. And uh, I can't reach the back one right now. Let's do some stress relief. One obscene snugs. Pinting goblet. Victory. Hits again. Despite the plus 20 something dodge I have. 18. Plus 18 dodge. Still, it's pretty fucking significant. Come on. Illumination. More stress relief. And blank the priest, the, the thing at the back. Royalty. Goblet misses this time. And the corpse is gone, so now this fucker's in range of Johnny. Oh boy, heal! Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Protect the healer. Done! That was about goddamn Remind time. Yourself that I need the bust. Slow and insidious killer. I really, really, really need the bust. Am I dropping the onyx for that? I'm dropping the onyx for that. Yeah. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Torch it up. Keep going. We only have one meal worth of food going, so I cannot afford to heal with food. And this is a bad fight. This is a very, 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 very bad fight. What do I do here? I, I have to keep healing. She's too low. Dodge for everyone. Coral. 14 points of damage. Crushing blow. 18 points of damage. Ow! And a massive debuff too. Stun him. Dodge and speed for everyone. I should... Maybe I should have protected. I probably should have protected. Great heal for six. Protect the healer. There we go. Start wailing at this front one. I can't reach the back all that well. That's fine. That's totally fine. Wicked Surge is, is not fine at all. I really need to kill that Bone Bearer quick. Let's blight him. At least get, get started on some damage on him. Keep protecting. He's got stun resist, so I might as well just wail at him. 21 points of damage, and I'm going to go Illumination on the Bone Bearer at the back. Coral misses. As long as I keep protecting Snugs, I think it'll be fine. I think. I hope. Crushing Blow. Not hitting Snugs. That's fine. That's fine. We can take this. Keep illuminating at the back. We need to kill that bearer. 15 points of damage. She's already protected, so I'm going to go for dodge and speed on everyone. And uh, more blight on the bearer. Impressive. Nice crit. Wicked Surge. Coral. We're good. We're fine. Crushing blow on Johnny Old Boy dodged it. I think now he's dead on his turn. 
He is not. Light him again. Now he is. Good. Suddenly, that's a lot less damage on the table. Let's keep protecting. Kill the big bastard. Quarrel. We're good. We're fine. We're guarded on this one. And uh, heal for another round here. Dodge and speed. More dodge, more speed. I could do this. Stress relief. Snugs is actually quite, quite stressed out. And let's uh, lower his accuracy. I want to make sure he misses. Because he's going to go anyway. There we go. Gotta love these probabilities. Protection again. Can't reach him yet. So let's keep stress healing. Illumination. Six points. Coral. Misses again. Light him. He resisted. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. That is fine. That's fine. Uh, healing. Oh, the crit heal. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better now. Accuracy crit for everyone. And a bit more stress relief. I'm cheesing this fight, but... Reduces accuracy again. Quarrel. He's got minus 30 accuracy. Okay, we're stressing out a little bit because we're stalling the fight. But now he's in range. Now he's in range for us to just whack at him. Like that. 13 points of damage. Bayonet jab. Misses. And, uh... Accuracy crit. I do not want to miss him. I really don't. And uh, here we can do a little bit of extra healing again. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. It's the first time I've ever heard that line by Mr. Narrator, and it is quite true. This That's a lot of crests, and success. a lot of busts, and a lot of things. I think I could get rid of the medicinal herbs. Yes. For another full stack of crests. Do I take the chance of dropping the shovel? No. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Do I eat the food? No. Emeralds? I don't want to drop the emerald, that's a thing. Like, I don't have that much cash right now. Well... No, actually, I have a fair amount, but still. Key? Do I drop the key? There's at least another room battle. Might be a treasure room. No, I think I'm, I'm just going to leave that behind and go. Oh, these are fast fuckers, too. Flurry of Claws. Four and three. Fluria Claws again. Two and five. What is... What is Snug's move protection? 90%. She's actually quite steady on her feet. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't want you to go next turn. There you go. And you're going to go next turn for a lot less damage. Possibly a lot less accuracy. A lot less accuracy. There we go. While we're gaining dodge and speed. How to bring a fight to a standstill 101. This. There we go. More dodge and speed. And let's uh, whack him in the head for seven points of damage. Read. Yeah. 
Your turn for the Hand of Light this time. Light him, I believe. No, he's not going to be dead. More dodge, more speed. I think I can afford to cheese it for one turn. Bring our stress down a little bit and our torch up. Grievous Maybe not! Injury. Palpable fear. Because obviously that's when he crits. Crit heal for six. At least Johnny's not. Johnny is, you know, Johnny doesn't give a fuck right now. Seize this momentum. I don't care about the Jade. Push on to Keep the going. tasks and and walk into a trap. Thank you, game. Torch it up. I believe that is probably the last fight. And that madman will be... Oh, that is very much priority number one. Illumination. I cannot reach the madman, so... Okay, dodge and speed for everyone. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to blight this skeleton. With some luck, this skeleton. Okay, now that skeleton is not going to die on... Wow! 11 damage on the goblet? Come on! Graveyard Slash for 14 points of damage. Axe Blade... Eight points of damage, and Johnny is not looking good right now. That one is dead on its turn. Illumination again. That reduces his dodge by a lot. Accusation. That's a lot. Of, that's horror, too. That is a massive horror. Four stress per round for four rounds. That is 16 stress in total. Light him. Obviously he resists because fuck you. Protect the other tank. Read it. Dead weight. I'm already at the back. I don't care. Keep illuminating. Tempting Goblet. Hits for five. Yeah, I really don't have enough damage on this comp. To... For it to be viable. I might as well make sure that Johnny doesn't have to pay for fucking stress relief. Doomsday. And Logic's freaking out. Irrational. Reeling, gasping, taken over the edge. Light him. Please die now. He's not gonna die. Dead weight. Okay. Keep protecting him. I might as well start wailing on the big guy. Accusation. Horror stacks? Horror actually stacks? Oh, that is bad. How much dodge debuff did I give him? Like 60. 30 dodge debuff. So he technically was at minus 43 dodge, and I still missed. What the fuck? He's dead on his turn anyway, so it's not even worth going at him. Let's try to heal up our Crusader a little bit. Axe Blade. Hits for nine. Snugs is healing next turn. We have no choice. Okay. Tempting Goblet. He's probably going to freak out, too. <laughs> wow. That was rough. 
Ow. Okay. Protect the healer. I do not want her to die today. Sedated. Soothed and sedated. And logic is taking a hit. And we're fine. We are fine. Keep healing. 13 points of damage. Oh, I should have stunned. Heal again. I'm way too low. Okay. No, no, no. Please. No. Okay, then. I might as well. Retribution. Just bonk him. Like, fuck it. Knife in the dark. That's a nice dynamic dynamic I had not thought of. Retribution into guard. Or guard into retribution. Means that suddenly two targets are on repost. Ooh. Well, at least. This run, for as shit as it's been, has been a learning experience. A dizzying blow to body and brain. What did I just say about this run being shit? Yeah. Here he's courageous. Okay. Shines brightest against the Read it. Eight and eleven. Hunting yeah. goblet. The Retribution, actually, did a lot of work here. I like that. These we got some extra food. So I'm going to eat right away. And, um... Okay, so quest is over. And I do not need the shovel. I do need the key. I think I can drop the torches. I want to grab that stuff. No, we're not done yet. Eerie, open up the box. There we go. Oh, I think the game froze for a second. That scared me. I don't have any medicinal herbs. There is a bag, though. I'm going to grab what's in the bag and then leave. Because logic is very much in heart attack territory, so I don't want to push it. Okay, we got a decent haul, at least. A very good haul when it comes to heirloom. That's a lot of heirlooms. Um, got a decent amount of cash and the coven signet. That should help us a fair bit. Got some traits here. Ruminator and uh, Light Sensitive. Skilled Gambler. Alright. Oh, that is a Flagellant. He bears the He's level zero. Lifetimes. I really, really want a Flagellant. Gond, you have never been named, and you never will be. This one has become vestigial. Useless. He never was useful. Wow, I'm getting so much lag right now. Every single time I do something in the game, there's like a half a second delay. Uh, okay, Rock and Ryan went drinking, and it went wrong. He will now never drink. Otherwise, I think it's fine. If any of you guys want to be the flagellant, you guys have to tell me right now. Or soon, at least. And the more it goes, the more... Uh, oh. What's the choice? Between a level Another zero flagellant and, and a level two flagellant. Cast aside like a spent torch. Oh, 
I'm gonna have a nice bit of figuring out to do here. Also got another level 1 flagellant, which could be tempting. I, I really want to be able to go to the courtyard. And I really want to be able to go to the courtyard sooner than later. So I really kind of want to replace some people, but uh, I don't know who to replace. And I don't want to get rid of a level 5. I mean, that's a lot of money just thrown away. Anyways, I'm going to keep thinking about that that a little bit later. Uh, in the meantime, I do think I can upgrade my sanitarium yet again. If I turn my deeds into more busts. There you go. The front line of this war is not in the dungeon, but rather inside the mind. Mr. Wayne June, I am totally in full agreement with you there. Uh, 13, 5,000 gold remaining. That's pretty damn good. That's been a long one. I've been recording for over 50 minutes already. And I had to do this one twice because the game crashed earlier. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, make sure to get your entries in for this month's giveaway. Uh, this video is coming out after June, after July 1st, so I'm not sure which game I'm going to be giving away yet, but it's going to be linked down in the description below, so make sure to check it out. I'm Crimson Raven, and I'll see you soon.